To make a book, you need to understand paper. I'll show you how to differentiate the, uh, the direction of the grain of paper. So you can stack, use a stack, curve it one way and the other. If you curve it against the grain, it will be much harder than if you curve it along the grain. Another way of telling is to simply tear it. If you tear it against the grain, it sometimes becomes difficult and it tears in different directions. But if you tear it along the grain, it normally tears a fairly clean edge. Another way of doing it is to simply dip it in water a little bit. I've got tea here. And if you blow on it, it will curve along the grain of the paper. So that might need a few minutes. So these are some of the ways to differentiate the grain of the paper. And now we'll show you how to fold a large sheet of paper into signatures. Signatures are sections of paper that are being stitched together in a book. You can tell it from looking on the side of the book, either from the tail or the head. So on this particular one, you can see there are six different signatures. It's not important technically to understand these terms, but it gives you confidence when you talk about it. And when other people talk about it, you understand what they are. So I like to use an A5 size sketchbook. You might like to make different sizes, but it's always cheaper to buy large sheets of paper than buying actual sketchbooks. Um, so, and I normally use each sheet to make one signature. You can do it however thickness that you like, but I recommend not using too many sheets as one signature because it makes stitching really hard. So this is A3. What I'll do is I'll fold it in half. With a bone folder. This is a bamboo folder actually. And I'll use a knife. I'll cut it along the fold, but not all the way. But I cut it more than halfway. The reason is I want to fold it again. And when I fold it again, if that's being cut more than halfway, it will avoid ugly creases when it comes to stitching. But also, the signature stays together and it won't come loose when you come to stitching it because they're still a little bit connected. So this is a clever little trick when it comes to folding your signatures.